Two-term Texas Representative Van Taylor withdrew from a Republican primary runoff race, ending his reelection bid after admitting to have had an affair with a woman who happens to be the widow of an American who joined ISIS. So this story's got a lot of twists and turns. So here's a photo of Van Taylor. He will no longer be a representative in Texas after his term is up. And so what happened exactly? What, 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 how did this all come about? How do we know about it? Well, there's some dirty politics involved. So that's a relevant part of the story. But first, let me give you the details about this affair. He announced that about a year ago, I made a horrible mistake that has caused deep hurt and pain among those I love most in this world. I had an affair, it was wrong, and it was the greatest failure of my life. Now, I wanna be clear, I don't, I don't care about lawmakers having affairs. I don't, I mean, I find it unsavory behavior. I don't prefer it, but it doesn't really matter to me, right? So um, I care about the policies, I care about how they govern. Uh, their personal lives should remain their personal lives. Now, uh, just before Tuesday's primary, the conservative news outlet National File revealed Taylor's affair with British native Tanya Joya. The widow of John Georgellus, an American who joined ISIS back in 2013. Now the timing of this, there she is. The timing of all of this is fascinating because if you're wondering who was digging the dirt on, on this guy, it wasn't Democrats. Democrats are usually pretty tame when it comes to this kind of stuff, unless they're going after progressives. Totally um, right. No, it was, other Republicans who are mad at him for daring to speak out against Donald Trump. Well, oh, it's so dirty. It's so, so dirty. Now, um, you should see the text messages. I actually haven't read the text messages. Are they bad? Oh, they're disastrous. Uh, I mean, the things he wanted to do to her were unspeakable. We uh, shouldn't know about that. I know. It's the so reason I'm wrong. not reading them on air. <laughs> Is because they're war crimes. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but By like, the way, she didn't join ISIS. Okay, uh, she didn't join ISIS. Yeah. Uh, but she did go with her husband and her kids uh, to the area, right? And her husband did fight, and then she flee. She ran Flight, away. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so um, we'll get to who's right and wrong, etc. But the, yeah, the text messages were dirty, dirty that he sent to her. God. And and they're, and look, guys, it's humiliating. It's their personal lives. We shouldn't all be seeing those. Uh, he's a terrible guy. He's a Republican, etc. The people who outed him are terrible people. There's no winners in this story. No winners. No yeah. winners at all. So, with the first reports of his affair coming out about 36 hours before the polls opened. He fell just short of the 50% threshold to avoid a runoff in Tuesday's primary with 49% of the vote. The shakeup also came days after Republican candidate Suzanne Harp, a banker endorsed by Trump, and who defined her mission as defending Texas from the radical left and rhino Republicans, helped expose the affair, according to Joya. Now, Joya made the unfortunate unfortunate mistake of communicating with Harp and dishing everything, telling her the details. She says, all I wanted was for Suzanne Harp to just say, hey, I know your little scandal with Tanya Joya. Would you like to resign before we embarrass you? Joya told the Dallas Morning News. But it didn't happen like that. Instead, Harp sent a supporter to meet with Joya, who bared her soul in a 35 minute recorded interview posted online Sunday night by National File, a far right news site that does not have a good reputation. Let's just put it that way. Um, and so Joya and Taylor apparently first met at an anti-extremism program that Joya was working on after returning from Syria. Joya uh, said that she told Taylor that she found him attractive and then the two exchanged phone numbers and the rest is history. She said that the pair started sexting with each other um, and an intimate physical relationship soon followed that lasted about eight months. Taylor knew Joya was struggling financially. This is the part that gets me mad. And offered to purchase her a home for six hundred thousand dollars. No, I. <laughs> Why are some men so stupid? Oh no, I know. Why, are, like, not all of you guys. I, I don't mean to make any like blanket <laughs> statement or generalizations, but when it comes to guys who get caught up in scandals like this, 
Like, how is it that sex per six hundred thousand dollar home? No, guilty. Never mind. Throw him away. <laughs> Throw him in prison. No, I'm just kidding. Not prison, but you should. Prison. <laughs> okay. I mean, if it was my husband, I'd want prison time. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, especially if you saw those sex. Oh my God, can you imagine? Can you imagine finding out that your spouse withdrew six hundred thousand dollars from bank accounts to pay for a mistress's home? Heads would roll. Oh my God. Heads would roll. Okay. There, was, there was talk of what would happen with tonsils in the in the text messages. Oh, come okay. on. Okay. So, anyways, uh, it is what it is. Okay, but to show you how stupid men are, um, as soon as we put up the picture, I was like, let him go. No, Jake. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I'm kind of. But uh, okay. Look, she's so, a no, beautiful no, my point. woman. But like, <laughs> the thing that look, listen, we're all humans. We all make mistakes. And like, I don't prefer affairs, but the affair actually bothers me less than using the family's money to buy this woman a $600,000 home. No, that's obviously what set you off. There's no question about that. Okay. She's like, oh, she went to, her husband went to go help ISIS and she helped. And I was like, wait, what'd you say about the house? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, look, look, let's get to the uh, bottom line here. Okay. Um, so, She's an interesting cat. I mean, she went and clearly went after him, right? Like going up to a congressman who is not attractive and being like, I find you very attractive. You want to exchange phone numbers? Later, do you want to pay for my $600,000 home? So she's an interesting cat, okay? But her personal life, who cares? She's not, you know, look, her husband did the crime. She apparently didn't do anything wrong. She's a free person. She lives in Texas, right? So that's already been resolved. Uh, they had a personal affair that actually has nothing to do with how he votes in Congress. So, on the, you know, sh is that enough that I would say he should leave office? Yes. No. <laughs> she changed her mind in the middle of the story because <laughs> of the house. Okay. I had forgotten <laughs> about the house somehow. Uh huh. Because like I thought about how they did him dirty because he spoke out against Trump. Like that's the reason why Republicans are running against him or uh -huh. why Republicans were primarying him, right? And I was like, that's wrong, but I forgot about the house situation. So the house did it for me. No, guilty. He should definitely step down. He's a <laughs> national disgrace. That has nothing to do with how he votes. <laughs> so now misuse of funds. Okay, misappropriating funds. Uh, but you don't know that. No, I he know. might be rich. Know. You don't know that he's using campaign funds. You don't know if that at all. If he's willing to use the family's money in that way, I guarantee that he might have some issues with campaign funds as well. well so they should look into it. But no, but by the way, they should. Yep. That I agree with you. We don't know that he did that. Uh, but first of all, just as a general rule, Republican politicians have no morals at all. So, and and Anna's right. If he's willing to use his own money, you think you sure he wouldn't use your money? I mean, Republicans do it all the time. Yep. Politicians do it all the time. And so, anyways, and he might have stepped down because that was just the tip of the iceberg. Because usually Republicans don't ever step down. But in Texas, cheating on your wife with someone labeled the ISIS bride, probably not going to play well, right? Especially in a Republican primaries, is as he's in a runoff there. So there could be two reasons why he stepped down. What I'm super curious about is, after all this is over, are they going to get back together? <laughs> well, you know what? We'll keep you up to date on that. We're a news organization. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.